So, if you have a big unit and you want to use grid converter, you need to give the microgrid license. I'm using frame 4, so I don't need license. So, first, we can check the grid nominal voltage. I will use 230. And for 500 units, the default nominal DC voltage is 675. We put it for the 400 voltage, so 540. In my setup, I don't have a MCB feedback, but if you have, keep it here. But in my case, I will remove it. Now, I did have a MCB fault here earlier. It means that the MCB control is open. It MCB is open. It. Here, bit eight is the internal charging switch. Bit nine would be with the MCB control, and bit ten would be the feedback. So. Because it's now open and DC is high, we can select here MCP close mode also from start command. Then from here we can set the control mode to island or microgrid. Let's use island. We can see here bit 14 go high, meaning the drive is in island mode. And then we can actually already give the start command. Here you can see the drive is already running. And here we can look at the status work. So no emergency stop. Charging switch is closed. Island mode. And the MCP control goes high. So here in the manual, we can actually check the bit for ah, start request was that one and quick stop not active. Then we go here. We have a MCP feedback. This one is now simulated inside with the three second delay because we don't have MCP feedback in use. At the same time, drive goes ready state, bit 1, and bit 6 goes also high, which is run enable. Here, bit 12, so actual run request goes high. And for the moment, drive indicates that the short circuit mode is active. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's perform a few stop and start command and then look at more detail what is happening in the drive. And then some scaling that we can see the signals more better. Here we can see the voltage is ramping. We can extend this ramp time if, for example, the transformer needs more time to magnetize. So here we can set the voltage right time. Let's put one second so it's easy to see. Stop and then we go start command and here we can see voltage rising in one second. 